I'm here at HPE Discover with Matthias and InfoSight is one of the things that came as part of the Nimble acquisition that happened roughly a year ago yeah. and integrated into the HPE storage division. And what what has happened with InfoSight now that Nimble is kind of more fully integrated in the, the greater company? Yeah, so we worked uh, really hard the last half of year to actually integrate uh, Trepo and Nimble into InfoSight. And what we did was we uh, took the approach to use the uh, cross-stack analytics, uh, which basically gives you a view of the entire application stack into the array. Um, and you can actually see where your performance bottlenecks are, which are the applications that take all of your resources and which are the applications that are starving for resources. Um, that's a, uh, something that very uh, many customers are looking for in our storage systems. And that's what we brought out, um, I think, in January when we released the TreePower integration. And um, we also integrated uh, our new uh, user interface. So it's much more uh, simplistic, much more uh, visually pleasing. So you can actually see the graphs better and uh, look at uh, all of your um, telemetry data in a much uh, simpler way. Um, the second point that we're uh, looking at is um, integrating the global view of all of the storage systems data um, and make that available to customers for their particular systems. So it's kind of like this community learning approach that we are taking with uh, InfoSight and basically have every customer personally profit from all the learnings that we're uh, getting from using the telemetry data of all systems. And then lastly, uh, we just released um, some features that allow us to look at the uh, telemetry data, find particular issues, and we learned this from Nimble, for example, and um, that allows us to um, find an issue once and then make it uh, visible for systems that have the same problem. Right? So what that means is you can, uh, we don't have to uh, look at all the systems. No, sorry, I'm messing this up. <laughs> so so what, we are, what we're looking at from a telemetry data collection point of view is that uh, we can find a particular issue and then we are looking in all other systems data for the same issue so that we can inform customers before they have a problem with this. Right? And that allows us to proactively and predictively uh, automate our support um, services. And so this is something that previously it was only people who were using Nimble that could take right. advantage of this. And then as of January, or roughly January, three power customers now are also able to take advantage of yes. this data? Yeah. And then, so what kinds of things, like, so you're saying that it, it'll point out performance pro bottlenecks or problems. Yeah. What, what kind of action does that cause a customer to take? So what you can do with this information is you can actually uh, figure out whether or not you need to reconfigure your virtual machines. So for example, there is a very uh, valid example where um, a customer had a misconfigured um, a virtual desktop where the, um, the the antivirus software would constantly run. And if you do this for 1,000 VMs, you will get a very bad experience from a performance point of view on the storage system. And they could pinpoint which VMs had this issue um, with InfoSight, and then they would basically change the profile of the VMs and uh, would restart the uh, virtual desktop or would get a new uh, session um, that doesn't have that problem. And that al allowed the customer to uh, have a much lower CPU utilization on the storage system itself. And with that, uh, he didn't have to invest in a new storage system because it wasn't actually overutilized. We showed them that um, because of the VM issues, they, they had performance issues on the storage system. So, so you're really saving the, the customer money and, and pointing out where they, yes. where they need to invest more or, or don't need to invest more. Exactly, yeah. So and um, on the Nimble side, for example, we also show where um, people have 
uh, open ports, like if the uh, call home system is connected to the internet, we can see whether or not uh, that port is actually uh, open or if it's uh, firewalled. And if, the, if we see that the firewall settings are not correct, then we inform the customer to basically close these loopholes. So, right. so you're finding security issues it's, as well? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow, that's, uh, that's definitely something that, that I'm sure most customers would want. Yes. Yeah.